In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can solve Instagram's API block when you are using Javi. Now, a huge amount of my clients have been getting loads of action blocks, like blocks, follow blocks, and it's really, really stopping them from growing their accounts. So I've come up, I've done a lot of testing, and I've come up with a fix, and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can solve those blocks okay you will no longer have action blocks you will no longer have API blocks alright guys so please watch this video and enjoy it don't forget if you do enjoy it and you do learn from it please don't forget to leave a comment like and a subscription what is going on guys the cash creator is back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can finally get rid of those pesky API blocks that are causing you to get action blocks, like blocks, and follow blocks. Alright guys, it's really annoying when you're trying to grow your account and you're getting action blocks that stops you from following people the amount that you really want to follow and it stops you from growing your account. So I'm going to show you guys that real quick. But before we do that, let's talk about API. What exactly is API? So API is basically an application program interface and essentially it is the software that allows two different applications to talk to each other. Okay, So in this case we have Javi and we have Instagram and the API allows them to talk to each other. Okay, It's basically the messenger that delivers your request to the provider that you're requesting it from. Okay, So when you want to follow someone on Javi with your account, the API delivers that request. Javi's API, application program interface, delivers that request to Instagram and then is able to follow on Instagram with your account. Okay, so that's how it works. Every time you do an action, you send an API request. Okay, so that is what API is and that is how it works. So let's go ahead and talk to you guys about how we can get rid of these pesky API blocks. So here we are guys in my computer and as you can see here is the social profiles section okay here are some of my trial accounts that I've been using to test for you guys do loads of tests to make sure that I understand what exactly this API error is and how we can fix it okay guys I'm gonna help you to get rid of these pesky API blocks that are stopping you and my own clients from getting the growth that they want. All right, guys, before I do go ahead, let me tell you to please, please, please make sure you understand this video. Please watch it fully and pay attention. Absorb all the information in and make sure that you guys follow these settings exactly so then I can guarantee you the results. OK, now um, I can't say that it's 100% foolproof because Instagram is really cracking down on people that are using automation like us, but I do hope that it will sort it out for you guys because it is really sorted out for me after doing these tests on my main accounts. I'm not getting any blocks anymore. So let's go ahead. The first thing that you want to do is you want to turn off all actions on your profile. So um, let's pick a random account. Let's say this basketball account is already stopped. I've stopped it. Okay. Um, and what you want to do if it's started like you know if the actions are on what you want to do is turn off the actions All right guys, so once you've turned off the actions What you're going to do next is you're going to click on the social profiles button and you're going to go into the settings All right um, Once you've done that you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to where it says reset device IDs Okay, and then you're going to click it but before I do make you guys do that. Let me explain why okay? So right now, if you're getting action blocks, like blocks and follow blocks, your account with Instagram has a really low trust score. Instagram does not trust you. They think you're doing automation. So they are giving you like blocks and follow blocks. It's that simple. So, you know, there's basically a red marker, you know, that is put across through your device ID because your device is linked to your Instagram account. So the device ID that you have, for example, that with Javi for your Instagram account has a red line through it because Instagram has picked that account as an automation account and it thinks you're using automation which you are so that's why what you need to do is click this button over here and reset the device ID so 
there you have it okay your device IDs was successfully regenerated and then if you go back into the social profile settings as you can see it says pending because um, we need to re-verify the account okay so what you want to do next is you're going to turn off this actions button again and you're going to go into the tools okay so once you go into the tools you're going to make sure all your actions are off and as you can see with this account basketball accounts um, all the actions are off there's no follows there's no unfollows no store reviewer no nothing okay um, as you can see I've tested these um, settings on this pets account okay and it's back to following 191 almost 200 people per day it's doing store review it's doing unfollowing and it's also liking um, optimally okay so I've done a lot of tests on all these accounts and finally these settings are working perfectly for that pets account as you can see there is the evidence all right guys so once you've ensured that all of these settings are off you're not following unfollowing liking anything what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back into social profiles and then click on your account again okay then what you're going to do, you're going to scroll up into the advanced profile settings and you're going to copy these settings exactly. Please, please, please take your due diligence and copy these settings exactly. Okay. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you do not use login, embedded browser to log in on Instagram, but you will be using that embedded browser to follow and like okay simple you're only going to be using the embedded browser from now on okay you're going to stop using the API because you know Instagram has found a way to block Javi's API and until Javi releases an update where it fixes the API and Instagram can no longer block it we will be using embedded browser to follow and like okay so let me ensure you guys that once Javi releases an update and they sort this issue out, we can go back to the original settings, okay? But for now, please follow these settings exactly if you still want to start liking and you still want to start following people, okay, guys? Um, optimally at around 200 per day. All right, guys? So you're going to follow these settings exactly um, and simply copy them, okay? Um, use alternative embed embedded browser cookie storage and suspend the tool if you're temporarily blocked okay so if Instagram does somehow temporarily block you you want to make sure that the tool is suspended for 10 to 20 minutes okay so it's that simple copy these settings exactly um, and then once you're done that what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back into the social profile section and then you're gonna turn actions on alright so once you do that it says pending because obviously you've changed the device ID so you still need to verify the account and you're simply gonna click verify okay so now it's gonna be initializing and then there's gonna be a delay and then it's gonna be finally valid okay um, and then what's gonna happen next after it's valid let me tell you guys alright so again this is an incredibly incredibly important part please make sure you do follow it and do not ignore this okay so once this account is eventually valid the next thing that you guys need to do is completely rest this account for 24 hours do zero actions okay this is very very important okay you've reset the device ID so you need to rest it for 24 hours so Instagram doesn't suspect you of anything okay you might have reset the device ID but they still remember okay this account this basketball account for example it may be suspicious for automation so rest it for 24 hours and show Instagram that you know we're not using robots we're not using automation okay guys so one that's why we've turned all these things off because we're not going to be using any actions it's going to be resting paused for 24 hours all right guys and then once you've paused it for 24 hours you know a day is going to pass and then the next day what you're going to do is use the story viewer only okay because we're going to be emulating a real person pretending we're a real person and just looking at people's stories for example famous people's stories or whatever okay so the first thing when it's valid after resetting the device ID is rest the account for 24 hours following that what you're gonna do is use the story viewer for 24 hours as well so that's two days that have passed and then on the third day what you guys want to do is finally start following unfollowing and liking but doing it at a really slow pace start at around 15 to 20 follows and then slowly increase it around 10 to 15 every single day until you're finally at 200 or even more okay now you're probably thinking 
cash creator this is really slow it's a really slow way of growing but it's up to you guys would you rather you know have an incredibly high trust score with Instagram eventually and then start following 200 plus every single day or just carry on how you are doing and maybe get 40 followers a day or 50 or even 130 or 40 and then get a like block or an action block and then maybe even blocked okay so it's your choice it's either short-term pain but you're getting long-term gain okay so you pay a bit of short-term pain you struggle for a bit with only a low amount of followers and likes but then you're going to gain hugely because you're going to have a high trust score with Instagram and you're going to be getting loads and loads of followers um, every single day without any blocks. All right, guys. So that is basically your strategy. Let me quickly recap, recap it again for you guys. What you're going to do is you're going to turn off the account actions. Then you're going to go into the account social profile settings. You're going to reset the device ID. Once you've reset the device ID, you're going to copy the settings that I've showed you. So you're only logging in via the embedded browser sorry you're only following and liking via the embedded browser um, once you've done that you know you're going to rest the account for 24 hours doing no actions then the next day for 24 hours you're only going to be using the story viewer and then finally what you want to do is on the third day you're going to start following liking and unfollowing but at a really slow pace and slowly slowly increase it until you're at your optimum okay and if you want to know the best settings for instagram i have released a previous video that shows you guys how to slowly warm up your accounts and you know get optimal settings without getting banned okay so please check out uh, my other videos if you did enjoy this video and it was helpful to you leave a comment tell me how you're finding it are you having problems with the java let me know in the comments and i will help you guys out don't forget if you liked it um, please don't forget subscribe to the cash creator peace out guys